Today, guys, we are going to be talking about the lore, or we're going to theorize what is happening in Garden of Bam Bam Chapter 1. I know this might strike differently from other people that have seen my content before. I just want to bear in mind that this is something that I've been planning to do for quite a while, just because ever since the game came out, there is just a lot of questions that have not been being asked yet. Now, if there's one thing that I love to do is theorize what may or may not have happened in Chapter 1, which may be leading into Chapter 2. And just for a quick little bonus as well for you guys, I'm going to give you, give you guys some secrets and some Easter eggs that have been left in chapter one that you guys may or may not have seen. I have definitely not seen, but besides doing research and seeing what happens, we're going to be talking about that as well. And all the stuff that is going to be lore related or theorized is going to be something that is actually in the game itself. So it's not like there's anything that's going to be anything special. As for the some of the rest that uh, I will be saying as well, is going to be completely theorized and it could be right or wrong leading to chapter two, which may either shoot down some of my theories or may could just shoot down the whole thing in general. I don't know how story driven this really is just besides this is only chapter one and it's the first installment of the game so they're really there's minimalistic and small amounts of minuscule detail that's really ha says what happened so we're going to jump right into it no questions asked but before we even jump into it i just want to let you guys know that there are going to be some spoils ahead so if you have not played the game or seen had have seen anybody else play it if you guys want to check the link in the description as well it shows my playthrough and my first blind playthrough of the game so if you guys want to check that out you're more than welcome to there's gonna be a tag that's gonna be right up on the right hand side of your screen if you guys like this video as well make sure to leave a like to let me know and comment down below what you what you think the theory is besides chapter one of garden of band band or just the overall thing of what happened i like to see your guys' comments and just want to know what may or may not have happened and also what i could have missed as well so before you even start the game we're gonna look around and see what has been already appointed to us as just the whole story even before loading up the game and just simply installing the game it says here enter Bam Bam's kindergarten and you are sure to make some friends explore the mysterious establishment and don't lose your life in sanity uncover the hor horrifying truth behind the place but be careful as as you are far from alone so just right off the bat it, it already establishes that there has been some horrifying truth that has happened in this place so we are actually in a kindergarten type facility or like daycare or play place or something like that and just based off of what we have seen is that we have seen uh we have seen only two of these characters so far so we've only seen the green one i think his name is jolly josh and popella or opolo bird or something like that i apologize i didn't do my research on that but so those are the only two that we see in chapter one uh we see this guy i forget what his name is i'll be, I'll be talking about that later and we he's going to be somewhat the main ish character in chapter two since he's been everywhere on uh, the website and everywhere around and as for everybody else you know we haven't seen Bobolina or something like that we I don't know this is like Captain Fiddles and I forget what his, his name is but we have not seen those guys at all we don't know if we're gonna be seeing him in chapter two or not or, or anything like that so yeah that's as, that's as far as I know just based off of just even prior to playing the game as you can see there's just a lot of stuff here I mean I don't remember this part being right here though I remember that it says the end is near but maybe that changes so now we're going to jump into the game itself and we're going to see what the game as soon as you start what hints and what everything it tells you is going to say so we're going to jump right into that and once again i just want to let you guys know that i don't want you guys to be spoiled up ahead so if you guys have not seen the game yet or played it uh, I recommend doing so by either your favorite creator or just playing it yourself uh, i'm gonna be flashing this up right here i'll give you guys a few seconds all right you're back awesome let's jump into it so the first question you're gonna be asking yourself is who are we are we a parent are we a are we a worker or a staff member are we a law enforcement of some kind are we the cia there's a lot of questions that are going around but right when you start off here it says for a parent looking for their missing child time is a delicate manner so i don't know if we're actually a parent or not in this scenario because i don't know if this is some sort of narrator or something but I, i'm just how i'm just how i'm looking at it it just says for a parent looking for their missing child so i don't know if this is a narrator saying that we're a parent or not it just seems kind of weird because it kind of it just off this one screen it kind of reminds me of you being a staff member or like a security guard or something so as you can see you're, you're going by at least 10 minutes or 15 minutes or so you know you're just going past 10 to 15 minutes like you're looking at back on video of what happened only a specific room too which is kind of weird that there's not any that there isn't any sort of anything here i want to say this is probably two o'clock as well basically what happened around two o'clock is that there is already blood on the walls which is kind of where this is going to lead into one of my other theories before not really other theories but what the game has provided us in the beginning there's just a lot of questions that need to be answered here so upon even ju jumping into the game you have to 
get your drone here, which is kind of a, a weird, it's kind of a weird system or a security measure. Why do we need a drone? How else would these doors open if they're not already open already? Why'd I have to throw a drone at this button to open up anything? That just seems kind of weird to me and I don't understand why. And another question that needs to be asked as well, what has happened to the establishment? Did this place shut down? Is it closed over the weekend? Is it like there's nothing really telling us of what happened? You could already tell that this is some sort of an establishment for kill for children as well. You could just base it off of everything that is here. Just eat your vegetables and fruit, become strong like me. You know, just a lot of like one of the inspirational quotes that you see in kindergarten classes. There's a lot of pinpoints here that you can definitely prove that this is definitely a kindergarten an establishment you could already tell this is a kindergarten establishment or maybe even a preschool establishment but they said it's a kindergarten and now so i know what you guys are probably wondering how do you get into this purple door now it's actually a secret way to get into this door what if i told you that there is a seventh egg that you have to capture i know you're probably wondering how the fuck is there a seventh egg when there's only six well there is a secret egg that you can pick up that opens the door and i wouldn't really say that opens the door but you, you just get a reward to open it put two and two together you probably know what i'm talking about so as you can see when you come over to the ooplooper mission you have to get six eggs so obviously since i've already done this before i know where these six eggs are and now you're probably wondering how do you get that six that seventh egg well once you get over to the ball pit after you get the hammer that is where you're going to be getting your seventh egg and just straight off the bat this is actually sort of a weird thing that actually pops up not like pops up but that is written on the walls here is by what bam bam says jaring is carrying in your pancreas is mine see now that's just something that's very weird and really off-putting especially put in a kindergarten facility which i don't think they even know the word pancreas is so what i'm gathering is that bam bam is most likely going to be monster animatronic mascot thing that's going to be after you in all of chapter two just because they've been advertising literally everything with him so i'm just going to be putting two two together thinking that this is going to be the bone of contention between you and bam bam and potentially even uh bambolina i think that's what her name is as well so now here comes where my other theory is distraction at one see when we look back at that little time slot area where i said it was around two o'clock there's already blood that was on the wall so did this thing take over an hour for a distraction and there's going to be something else that's going to lead us into uh, more of the theory of what has happened so distraction at one we don't know who is distracting what or what is being distracted are we distracting the children are we distracting the staff members are we distracting the mascots are the mascots distracting people there is a lot that goes into it that we just don't know yet besides that there is actually a secret tape that can really confirm what has happened at one o'clock that led up to two o'clock where there's blood on the walls potentially when we make it to the ball pit here as you see there's actually some prints that are on the wall here which actually just shows obviously if you guys have seen it or not oopla bird that's where she comes up that's where she gets on this side and she follows all the way through to get on your side where you're going to be potentially so basically how does oopla bird get up here is the real question does she just walk at a 90 degree angle and she just walks right up the wall and just flies back down because she is a flamingo after all flamingos don't really fly that high they just kind of glide their way if that makes sense hey guys this is future me and i kind of fucked up i kind of did some more research on if flamingos do fly or they glide and they actually can fly at great amounts after seeing some videos about it however i still still think that oopla bird does not fly straight up i don't think she had to get so much momentum from very far away to get up to the top which could be correct because we don't know what's at the pit of the ball pit so we don't know if there's like an extra big layer of the whole place itself that's something that i don't know about and i that's something that leads in the chapter two if i had to take a guess so i just want to put that out there uh if, for you animal experts that are out there uh i apologize i didn't mean to hurt you guys' feelings and uh i'm sorry for the slip up so just keep that bear in mind i'm gonna be talking about it more here so flamingos don't really just are not like birds and they could just jump and fly away flamingos actually have to have some sort of a gliding mech they have some sort of a gliding mechanism here but there's actually a note that's written over here that kind of confirms a little bit of some of the lore a little bit so here is the note here i don't know if this is some sort of a song or it, it's written by a child but as you can see just by how it's written but it doesn't really seem something written by a child if that makes any sort of sense for some reason the words are written in different colors red for ban ban green for jolly jolly josh blue for captain fickles or fiddles whatever his name is yellow for i think his name is stinger flynn i think that's what his name is and pink that is an oopla bird so i don't know if these are written by the different mascots or monsters that are here or these are just written by a staff member which it doesn't seem to be written by a staff member just because I feel like they would know who the staff member, who the mascots are. So if I had to take a guess, it's either written by the mascots or the monsters or by a child or children. So as we can read here, it says, I alone, I want to play with the whole bird, but everyone left me. Everyone have party without me. 
Miss Mason see me, but go. I am scared because hole is loud and my friend scream, but it is screaming it. But bird is funny. So here's what I'm gathering. Everything seems to be a little bit different here. Now, if I had to take a guess, Ban Ban is alone because I just based off the screenshots of chapter two, he's just sort of like some corridor underground portion of this facility, which we'll find out later on. Jolly Josh is definitely in the underground because at the end of this game he actually yanks you down into the underground facility portion of the kindergarten facility as for captain fiddles here we don't know what he means by everyone is at the party without him so i'm wondering if everybody is down here besides only uber bird and jolly josh because jolly josh can get his way out but i think he's just so big he can't really get the oomph to get up as for Oopla bird she's probably the only mascot or monster to actually make it up because as we see later on in the game that she can actually climb up the walls so there's a, so miss mason i forget, i don't know if that's sting, i think that's stinger flynn so miss mason see me but go so we don't know who miss mason is we don't know if that is just a mispronunciation of one of the uh, of the one of the staff members or somebody else but i think they're talking about a staff member we don't know about yet and again we don't even know who we are we don't know if we're a parent if we are miss mason if we are a staff member we don't know who we are i I'm scared because hole is loud and my friend scream in it but bird is funny so this is where this is kind of hard to think is this poor is this part from a child or is this from Oopla bird it wouldn't make much sense if it was for Oopla bird because why is she talking in third person unless there is a second bird that's down there that is exactly like Oopla bird unless let me put this in a bullet point unless Oopla bird is talking about the other bird that we put the eggs in now that would be crazy that's something i don't know because Oopla bird is down there but she's the only one that can get up so there is a lot of theories here as to what this note entails is this written by the monsters or is this written by a child it wouldn't make much sense if it was written by a child now thinking about it so that is very interesting so the seventh egg is actually around here so before you even hit do these uh before you even do these colors i mean you could do it when oopal bird is around but there's actually a secret egg that is actually up here so as you can see there's actually an egg that's up here that you can see that it's actually grabbable. So right when you stand over here where, where Oopleberg would come and you just stand in this corner, you can actually just grab this bad boy. There you go. There's the seventh egg. Now you're one step away from going into that purple room, which I'm going to be showing you. So just to confirm my theory, Oopleberg is over here. And as you can see, how does she even get over here knowing that she is definitely... Jesus Christ. But she has definitely somehow made her way up here, even though she was already on the second floor or on the main floor already. So that gives us a lot of theories as well on how the hell does she get up here and why does she just run right at us? She doesn't know who we are. So either she knows that we are our parent or she is just something that's different. She doesn't really run right at us right away, which is interesting, to say the least. So this is where we... <laughs> So once you do that, Oopla Bird falls all the way down, back down to the bottom. You can confirm it by the big thud on the ground. And so we don't know if Oopla Bird is dead or not. So that's what we don't know yet. So if we're leading into chapter two, Oopla Bird may or may not be still alive, if not be a little dismangled or anything. Uh, where did this bird go? Now here's something that I definitely missed my first time playing through. So here is something that is very, that this is definitely written by a child. You can just tell just by the handwriting and just how the words are pronounced. So here is what it says. It says, dear mommy, I am hiding in a room, but I have to fight the monster. It is the only chance to make Claire, to make Claire like me. This is definitely written by a child. We can definitely come to that conclusion that it's written by a child. And the monster is Oopla Bird. Yo guys, it's me once again. Uh, I just, now looking back at this, I don't know if this is actually Oopleberg or not. Because if you believe it or not, the drawing is actually red or orange-ish, and there could be another bird that can confirm my theory, like I said before, if there could be another bird down below. I don't know if this is true, but if I were to just take a guess, why would the creators not put pink when the, when Oopleberg is literally pink? I don't know, it's just something I thought about, and it's for something you guys can think about as well, and to theorize whether or not there's a second bird down there. Just want to make that known. Bye-bye. So we don't know who Claire is. We don't know if Claire is another kindergarten student if she is a staff member or a teacher whoever we don't know so this child had to fight loopal bird which could have ultimately led to their demise or being captured so that is another good lore sort of thing here a little pinpoint here so there's actually a secret tape that's here so here is what this tape has this is my first time listening to this tape too i just learned how to do it and knowing that there's a tape here so we're going to play this and this is what's going to be correlated with the distraction at one potentially so we're going to play it so as you can hear, there's definitely some children that are playing around, having a great time. What was that door? Oh. 
Okay. So just based off of that, it seemed like there was some sort of either something blew up here and it's just very well kept together afterwards of that explosion or there was some sort of shooting that happened inside this kindergarten class or the monsters just went all that shit crazy and they just ran after everybody we don't know because it, everything seems to be well kept there's no indication that that everything is gone and then when we look back at this boarding pass when you entered the last room that before the game ends is a boarding pass for the name of adam Uthman. So we don't know if this is somebody that this takes place back 2016. So we don't know anything that might have happened to this Adam person if he is the if he's one of the staff members that's here if he's actually one of the board of directors or something like that of this place just because if you if you sit here and you go after this button here and then you hit this lever a secret underground the secret underground of the facility opens up so that is something that may be different that the adam might just be the main guys if not the owner of this whole establishment so he may some may have something or he may not have something on this place we don't know yet. So fortunately, since my game has bugged out, I can't show you the purple door opening, but I'm going to show you a clip on how you get that. So basically how it happens, just so you guys are forewarned, you get that seventh egg and you feed it to the bird. But I think since I died, it might have messed up the game. So you get that and you give it to this bird, the bird that gives you that you put the eggs in and then it gives you a purple card. So then the purple card you open up here and, and there's and this is what you see in there. So once after we go into the purple card room, that is basically it for the game. That's as much as we know so far. And we already know what happens. Everybody have seen this part by now. If you haven't, here is what's going to happen. So you come down in this underground facility portion, this elevator thing. You can hear that those animatronics death calls again. So there is a lot of stuff that has happened so far in this game. So this game, so this is what happens. We hear a groan and it is definitely going to be who you guys think it is and as you can see jolly josh is up here he's actually been down here for quite a while he's actually a giant look at him look at him being so cute and then he yanks you down and now there's actually one more secret that i literally just forgot about once again on my initial playthrough if you guys scan that qr code that is on that boarding pass it brings up this and this is what the boarding pass QR code says it says congratulations you have made it to the Jumbo Josh lounge this is where Jumbo Josh and his siblings come to rest uninvited guests are typically turned to mush but you seem to have a lot more effort into reaching this place nearby you may sing as long as you like put some music some relaxing music have a have some cake and make some friends so we now know that Jumbo Josh has siblings whether these siblings are actually in this facility or not we do not know but considering that he is in here they are most likely in here as well and plus we also know that Jumbo Josh is actually a Jumbo Giant so to summarize what we have known so far and this is just how my theory is going to go this is going to depict what has happened to this establishment in chapter one that's going to lead us into chapter two potentially basically these could be wrong but this is just my depiction and what i think what i think could have happened on chapter one so if i'm wrong and they say something i'm wrong in chapter two please don't come over my head for it plus i love to theorize and i love to make up scenarios where it could or could not happen but here is what i definitely think i know there's something that has definitely happened at one o'clock and then an hour later around two o'clock is when we've been seeing the after effects of it because if you see the blood has smeared more or less to the left hand side leading into that room so this could be somebody that escaped down in the underground facility that could potentially be alive or could be dead we don't know yet the distraction at one o'clock it seemed either there was some sort of shooting or the monsters or mascots have went crazy which led to numerous deaths but however the place still remains open we don't know if the place is still open if it is currently shut down it doesn't seem to be shut down when all the lights are are still on though so we don't know if that place is just temporarily closed for the time being and there's somebody that's still upkeeping it for the time being and again we don't know who we are i don't know if we are some sort of janitor of the place if we are the one of the parents that are coming to see if they can find their child that is something that we do not know just yet and there's two boarding passes that are around that we do have a name for we have willerly mason or mason willerly I think that's what the name was. And the other one was Adam Uthlin. We don't know if this is based off of the guy who may own this whole establishment or know something that, that everyone, everyone else does not. Considering that the underground facility is in his 
potential room. Oopalbird is the only mascot or monster that is able to walk up walls since considering it is not real life and you know flamingos can't actually fly for a long distance or that high depending on how far down that ball pit is but by just hearing how far that she has fell how long it was until she hit the bottom i don't think flamingos can really reach that high in flight we also know that jumbo josh is actually a jumbo giant as well since he based off of this clip right here like i've shown before he's actually humongous and we don't know what that's going to lean into chapter two so from start to finish we don't know if we are a parent janitor security officer staff member law enforcement cia agent we don't know who we are but we do know that's that one of the children have fought against oopla bird to save somebody by the name of claire whether they are a staff worker themselves or that is somebody or that's somebody's or that's another child that this person has a crush on so that child had to fight oopla bird and we don't know the outcome of what has happened but considering that oopla bird is ginormous and a big mascot compared to a kindergarten like child i don't think anything really came out of that that is something worth mentioning and one thing i still want to touch point on is just that little note that we found inside the ball pit just how it was laid out it really makes me want to seem that that was written by different colors was by different characters so red by ban ban green by jumbo josh pink by oopla bird do these monsters so have intelligence like a human does and they're able to write stuff down or is somebody else writing something down for them and saying hey I need some help. And by the end of chapter one, we go back, we go to the underground facility where we get taken down by Jumbo Josh, which then leads us into chapter two, where we are stuck down in the facility, whether we are taken care of by another monster or we are actually just knocked out for the time being. But that is just my theory so far in chapter one. I know this video was a little scattered, but this is something different that I wanted to do for the time being. I want to do something different for the channel and something that on the game that I'm really, really hoping for is actually going to be a good line of lore and storyline telling. And I also just want to know if I'm right or wrong. So if, that's, that's, if I'm right or wrong, then it is what it is. If I'm wrong, I'll take the L. However, I am just theorizing because I love to theorize. But let me know what you guys think has happened. Let me know what you guys happened down in the comment section below. I read comments literally every time someone has commented. And I just want to know what you're guys' theories are or your story of what you think has happened in chapter one that may lead into chapter two. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for the constant love and support. If you guys have not seen, if you guys have not seen, I have actually played this game blindly before. Uh, it will be the link of it will be in the description below. As I've said in the beginning of the video, the game will pop up on your right hand side. But again, guys, I just want to say thank you so much for honestly for hitting for helping me reach 400 subscribers. It took us over a month just to hit 400, but that is a okay. 500 is going to be sooner than rather than later and again i just want to say thank you guys and thank you for sticking with me stay safe be responsible and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out